Hey there, Pisces. Thanks for stopping by for your next 48 hours in love reading. Ah, I've already meditated on the deck, cleared the energy from the past readings. I'm gonna hit this gong here, lightly. Just a little soothing energy for us. Now we're gonna get into it. This is an intuitive reading, and I'm looking at what's coming towards you in love in the next 48 hours or so. This is, if you're watching it when I posted it, this is the New Year's Eve weekend. New Year's Eve is Sunday. So, we know love interests pop up around this time. So I wanted to do a love reading for us. I myself am a Pisces. And at least in Vedic astrology. And I lean more towards the Vedic astrology now that I've been on my path for a little while. Start out in Aries, ending up a Pisces. Whew, all the way around. Ah. So, a little disclaimer action here. Um, please don't try to make this reading fit if it doesn't actually fit your story. Okay, I'm reading for a bunch of people, and not every Pisces path is the same. We have similarities, we're not the same. If I'm reading about a breakup and your relationship's going fine, please click off. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. If I'm reading about new love and you're in a stable, committed relationship, please click off. And if you're in a stable, committed relationship that's doing well, what are you doing here watching this reading? Why are you tormenting yourself? Just asking. All right. This really is intended for my single Pisces out there who are looking for love. But the reading may come up differently. You know, I don't want to exclude. With that said, spirit guides, ancestors, please be with me now in this time. Please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for the Pisces collective with regard to their love life, their journey to love, through love as love. What is the overall energies for Pisces in love in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What can our Pisces collective expect? What's the theme? We're looking for the theme in this first card. What's the overall theme? The sun. Illumination. This is Keter. Raw in the morning, chasing away the shadows, bringing forth the light. What is Keter going to be illuminating for our Pisces collective spirit? What is this illuminating for our Piscean collective? It's too many cards. I'm, I'm trying to get away from accepting multiples <laughs> in all things. <laughs> Uh, the Nine of Cups, your love of self, the most important. You got to have your cups full so you can then go and share cups with others instead of having your cup filled by others. Anything else to say on that spirit? And the Chariot, forward movement. So what I'm seeing is what's being illuminated is your cups are full, Pisces. You've been doing the inner work. You've been focusing on your life. You're doing the things that make you feel good about you. And you're satisfied. And you're getting the green light to move forward from spirit. Okay. What's coming towards? Are there peoples coming towards? Our Pisces Collective? What's coming towards our Pisces Collective? What are the energies coming towards Pisces in love this weekend, this next 48 hours, Spirit? What do we have here, Spirit? Wow. That's the marriage card to me. It's the Ten of Pentacles. That's the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. That's 
I mean, the, the, the Nine of Pentacles is you have everything you need. And you're able to, you know, take your kids to the movies. You're able to buy your food. You're able to pay your bills. You're take, you're self-sufficient. But the Ten of Pentacles, that's when you're stepping into that next level of you got it all, including the partner. Because the time with the partner is a pentacle. I'm not saying the partner is a, t is a pentacle. It's, it's a very subtle difference, but it's there. What else can we say about this Ten of Pentacles energy spirit? What is this that's coming towards? That's too many. It's an interesting story, but that's too many. Ah, fumble, fumble. The two of pentacles. Um, balancing out your physical and maybe your physical world. You're balancing out these physical things, these pentacles. You know, your time with your partner, your time with... Because time is a pentacle. The time spent touching something, interacting with it physically you're balancing out your your physical world making room making the space for this new love or for this new adventure a knight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn steady eddie moving at a very steady dependable reliable pace incredibly slow like watching molasses in february Spirit, who is or what is coming towards our Pisces in love in the next 48? The Hanged Man. That's a Piscean card, too. A new perspective on things. Pisces. Getting that new perspective. It's pretty cool. Uh, what are the potential crossing energies, Spirit, for Pisces? What's potentially crossing? The moon could be a Cancer. The moon is the opposite of the sun. So the sun's illuminating and the moon, um, things look different under moonlight. They can be obscured. You see the shape mostly, but you don't see the color. And the shadows are much more exaggerated. Things can look scary in the moonlight that are actually really quite pleasant in the sunlight. <sighs> okay. Potential crossing. Spirit, what are you doing behind the curtain for Pisces through this, to this, on their path to love? What are you doing for Pisces? Page of Pentacles. So that takes me back to that night energy. Sending someone in. Sending in a ringer, as it were. Encouragement. That offer is coming towards you, Pisces. What else, Spirit? What, what, what else are you doing behind the veil, behind the curtain for Pisces? It was a bunch of cards, but they were good cards. Those were good cards. Bunch of cards. Good cards still. What do we got here, Spirit? Talk to me. Talk to us. The tower. Maybe the tower is kicking in for somebody. Freeing them up. So they can come forward to you. Could be. But be careful if someone just broke up with their partner on Friday and they're hitting you up on Sunday trying to make something happen there, Pisces. May not be the time. Just saying. What advice do you have for Pisces spirit? What advice would you give Pisces in this time? For their love. Three of Cups. Get out there. Have some fun. Enjoy time with friends. Be happy. Joyful. Spend time with friends. Pretty good advice. Especially on this weekend. It's a big celebration weekend. And Pisces, Seven of Cups. There's options available to you out there. One cup's bigger than the others. That means one cup is more right for you. But you have options. Okay. Three of Cups to the Seven of Cups. Go celebrate. You will see you ha you do have options available. Don't, you know, now is not the time to be the hermit and shut in for you. 
and the fool and the fool the fool puppy with a stick that's happiness that's joy there is no past the future's unknown i've got the stick and i'm going for it said the puppy what's happier than a puppy with a stick nothing childlike energy you can relax into that pisces things are working out for you what needs to be illuminated is going to be illuminated okay if someone starts throwing up some shade and shadow being all mysterious and you're like i don't know if i can trust what they're saying don't and walk away just do that it's okay let the tower fall on that lion ass <laughs> wow that was vicious of me but it feels true okay don't don't tolerate nonsense because you're worth it okay you are worth truth honesty clarity you have options available to you you're beautiful and i love you that's what i have for you pisces thanks for showing up for this reading thanks for allowing me to read for you thanks for sharing your energy i want to thank my guides i want to thank your guides I appreciate you. Ah, if you like this reading, hit me the thumbs up. Here's the whole disclaimer thing, you know, the whole words down below. I love comments, by the way, I do. Um, you'll never see me doing advertisements on this. That's not why I'm doing this channel. I do this channel to give back. I've been given this gift, and I want to be able to give back with it. And so I do this. And I have a little clicker here thing to control that thing there. And I love you. And thank you for stopping by.